He do here. Be gone, low tier. In the past, I've discussed and highlighted a number of glitches in Melee. Ness's yo-yo glitch, the wispy glitch, and the entirety of Pokemon Stadium. However, like the three I just mentioned, most of them have been either stage or character specific. So for this video, I wanted to show a glitch that is universal in Melee, meaning it can happen to any character on any stage. And I'm not talking about cosmetic stuff like the stock icon glitch or band glitches like the Ice Climbers oh, Freeze glitch. Wow. Wait, he just went for the. Yeah, he went that's for that's banned. That's, oh, that's banned. He oh, went for that's the. That's been banned, like always. That's always been banned. Oh, he's just giving up. Oh. But a glitch oh, that is actually I'm relevant in competitive play, a glitch that can affect what? game and even what set outcomes. What? Its name is the Invisible Ceiling glitch. You've probably seen it before. In fact, you've probably seen this clip of S2J losing to a bait because of the glitch about, mm, 10,000 times by now. But oh my god! Dude, that might be- Oh, he stopped! What would happen? What happened? What happened? What happened? But can you blame people for putting it in their compilations? The clip is so hype and weird. Like, really weird. And yet, despite the reason behind the glitch being known for years, on top of it being one of the most common glitches in competitive melee, it still catches the majority of viewers off guard when it happens. Invisible ceiling? Is that how it wow. ends? So let's set the record straight. What makes it happen, and why is it so common? Well, it's common because not only can any character experience it on any stage, but the circumstances required to activate it aren't very rare. All that needs to happen for the glitch to occur is a player hitting an opponent's shield with a grounded move, and before the recoil experienced by hitting a shield has fully dissipated, the character who hit the shield becomes airborne. Such as by jumping, getting hit, sliding off a platform, or using a move like Marth's grounded up B. After the character lands, however, the glitch is no longer active. This is why the glitch occurs with Luigi so often, his low traction makes him slide extremely far after hitting a shield, giving him ample time to simply jump out before he's done sliding or get hit. Perfect sweet spot. Avoid the down air. Invisible ceiling. What? That misfire might have killed him? He's still ceiling, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he died off the bottom. The invisible ceiling glitch can also be activated with counters, which the game treats as a type of shield. If you've ever used Roy's counter, for instance, You've probably seen the invisible ceiling glitch occur. In fact, the glitch happens so often with his counter that some people actually just think that's how Roy's counter works. Now what you're seeing isn't a literal invisible ceiling. Instead, it's the attacker's vertical velocity being set to zero. You can see this in action by closely observing the way a glitch victim's falling speed increases again after reaching the apex of their trajectory. You can also see the character's vertical velocity value being set to zero with certain settings in 20XX. Remember when I said the glitch is active until the attacker lands? Well, I said that with a bit of an asterisk because this glitch has its own jank attached to it. That's right, the jank has jank. The way the invisible ceiling glitch behaves is different based on which side of the shield is hit. The glitch occurs infinitely on the left side of shields until the attacker hits the ground, but can only occur for an extremely short amount of time after a shield is hit on the right side. Here's an example. Marth up B's Falco shield from the left, and due to the nature of grounded up B, leaves the ground before his recoil ends, activating the invisible ceiling glitch. Falco double shines, and there it is. The invisible ceiling glitch occurred with both shines. Now here's Martha up being Falco's shield, but on the right side, and nothing. Huh. Here's another example with Luigi. The glitch occurs with both shines on the left side, but only once on the right. So what's the deal with this? Well, unfortunately, no one knows for sure the reason why the glitch yes. differs based on which side of the shield is hit. That's what happens on the left side. So just treat it as it is. Stupid melee shit. 
Utilizing save states, Michigan Fox main KJH was able to come up with several punishes by using the invisible ceiling glitch to his advantage. Whether or not he, or anyone for that matter, will ever hit the punishes in tournament is yet to be seen. But regardless, these clips, to me, represent part of what makes Melee so cool. It's players continuing to say, hey, let's make something beautiful out of this mess. Just remember that the right side is the fun side.